Okay. We are now going to list something on Craigslist. So let's go to Craigslist, create a posting. I'm in Pinellas County for sale by owner. And let's use computers by owner. All right. Title, you want to put the model number and you know, make of the laptop and any other details that you think would be a good poll for somebody reading just the title. So the first one we're going to list is an HP. So let's go look at our pictures of the HP, get the model number. I always like to take a picture of that stuff so I could just quickly easy, and easily just put it into the posting. So it's a 17T-N100. So we got HP, it's a 17 inch laptop. And I totally forgot the number. One second, 17TN100. I'm, that's the model. And then let's put in the posting title some of the specs of that laptop. I know mine has NVIDIA 50M, Intel i7, and mine has eight gig of RAM and a one terabyte hard drive. Now to see what we should charge for this, we can go to eBay and see what they're selling for and just price, price it a little higher than that. Let's go to eBay.com. Let's find a 17T-N100. HP and remember we want to go to sold items all right now these are a lot of parts you want a whole one so let's see if in the categories we have one for actually just computers wow there's not not any on there oh, okay I'm sorry PC laptops and netbooks there we go all right here's a parts only one for parts parts pre-owned okay here's one for 319 Here's one for 150 parts only, pre-owned, 307. Okay, so we're getting the idea that the pre-owned ones, the ones that are actually all in one piece, are going for around 300 bucks. Now, if you look at the condition of this one in that picture, it's not looking that hot. So ours is in like perfect condition. You see the smears? Down there, the wear. This one is uh, it's not that great. So ours is in really good condition. You know what? I'm going to post mine for four. We can come down if we have to. City or neighborhood. Let me clear water. Postal code 33764. Don't put your whole address in there because somebody in Craigslist might just come to your house. And if you don't want that, like you see down here, show my address. I would not put that there. You can put a street and cross street maybe if you want, but that's still pretty close. And what we're going to do now is put a good description in here. And I like I like to put a little bit of human quality in the description so it feels like they, you want to get people to have warm and fuzzies uh, when they read this stuff. So they know that you're a good person and you are a human and you can have a good communication cycle with them and they understand you and they like you. That kind of stuff is what you want to put in there. So I, I actually put like, I have for sale, like full sentences. I like to put full sentences. I have for sale a HP 17 inch laptop in fantastic condition. Um, comes with, well, we can put that later. Let's put the specs. Intel i7. It's got uh, NVIDIA 950M, 8 gig of RAM, 1 terabyte hard drive, um, beautiful um, full HD 1920 by 1080 screen. Um, 
input comes with power adapter. Perfect for Xmas present. It's Christmas time, by the way, right now, so I'm going to put that in. Might as well. Um, okay, so that should be good enough. Feel free to text. Thanks. So I want to open up lines of communication. I want to let them it's, know it's okay to text. This stuff, yeah, I don't really need to put this in there. You don't have to. I don't know if it would help that much. You know? But I guess the more information can't hurt. There, good enough. All right, so yes, this I want. I want to have as many ways for them to communicate me as possible. Um, phone calls. I, I get so many spam calls that I don't um, accept any calls from somebody who's not in my contact. So this is going to do no good for me. But if you are happy receiving calls, I mean, I used to have this on, but I will receive texts. So for me, I'm going to turn this off. But um, you can do whatever you want. I don't put my address because I put clear water close enough. That's close enough. And this, always keep this unchecked. There we go. That's good enough. Continue. Some required. Oh, I'm not signed into Craigslist. Otherwise, that wouldn't, it wouldn't be asking me for that. And you want to use CL Mail Relay. This allows Craigslist to send the emails back and forth so they don't actually ever get your personal email address. And yeah, that's, I'm actually like a little higher up here. <clears throat> so I could click on the map and choose my exact location. I'm like, oops, I'm more like around here. Good enough. To get the general area. And this is good because if somebody's right down the street here, they go, oh, that guy's right down the street. But if you have it in a complete wrong spot, and people might not be as inclined. So I'd like to put a generally where I am, but I don't put exactly where I am. And now we could add the images we took of the pictures. It's in my downloads folder under photos. And let's see, we want the ones of the HP, which... Are not in there because I opened the wrong folder. They're photos one or photos two, and the photos one. Okay, here's the HP. Got some nice pictures of it there with the power adapter powered on. There we go. And I like to put this shot as the featured image, something that looks the nicest. Don't put this one or that keyboard one or an upside down one as your featured image. Put the nicest one. This might catch some attention too. I know it's a blue screen. Yeah, let's use this though. You know, it's scary with Windows using a blue screen because somebody might think, oh, it's the blue screen of death. But, you know, the contrast of the colors is catch will catch their eye. This might not catch their eye as much. No, I changed my mind. Either one would be fine. I know I'm making a tutorial here and I'm like changing my mind. But you got to think about things every once in a while and, you know, do what you think is best. And I think this is the most aesthetic, pretty one, even though the screen's not on. It's, it looks like a nice piece of hardware from there. This one, it just doesn't look as good as that. So I'm going to keep that as my featured image. I'm done with the images. Okay. And just check it out. Make sure everything's fine. Good, good, good. Pictures are good. Everything's good. Publish that baby. There we go. Now, if we were signed into Craigslist, we wouldn't get this screen. But it said they're going to shoot me an email. Make sure that I did this for reals. Further actions required to complete your request. Okay, we want to follow this link. Click on the link. Accept the terms of Craigslist. 
Okay, now our link is posted. And that's how you post on Craigslist.